Let's see, it's Wednesday, March something or other. March 15th, 2017. It's about 11.09 a.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Savings Time. Let's see, for some reason my gimbal is crooked, that's weird. Anyway, so here we are. I'm at the entrance to Garden Bridges and Hopkins Chocolate. Instead of exploring any caves now, I'm actually gonna stay above ground. I'm just gonna show you how this place is full of holes. And remember, based on that sign, this sign too, there's basically only two caves here. Hopkins Chocolate Cave and Garden Bridges Cave. Now I'm gonna go off the trail a bit here. So this is why you very carefully explore here. So look at this. To my left here, there's a hole. This is part of Garden Bridges Cave. And if you continue, it goes on to uh, Hopkins Chocolate Cave. I'm gonna pan to the right here. So you notice this whole bridge I'm on is maybe eight feet wide. It's solid rock, but don't fall off. That's why I waited until there's no snow on the ground to do a video like this. I'm gonna cross here. I'm gonna look back. So there we are looking at, um, what is it called? Garden Bridges Cave. Notice how the ceiling there is only like less than a foot thick, but it's two layers. There's actually a gap between two different layers. So here we are looking at the bridge again, part of it, one of the bridges. So there we are. Here's another trench. Notice the main tube goes that way. There's obviously just a little bridge, then the paved walkway goes that way. And there's another hole down there to the left. And there's no sign saying what's what, where's where, or all that good stuff. But this area is open to the public this time of year. It usually closes in the summer to um, protect the bats. I beat the weather, whatever you say that. So here I am, I'm back on the paved trail, looking down at Garden Bridges area. There's that one bridge I already pointed out. Here's the paved walkway to the left and to the right. It just makes a little loop, so people don't want to go caving can still enjoy the view. Let me turn around, look back this way. So there's the trench, there's that first bridge, and then it continues on. From here you can't even see how far. Turn this way. Notice how it, it gets wider here, and, but the main tube goes that way. You can see there's a big hole that way, smaller hole to the right. Go over here. Pan down. Oops, trying to show this here. So there's that bridge I just came over. You can't, I'm not gonna get close enough to see, but you can go down there, or there's a ledge, you can go up that way. And then there's also another tube back that way. And then there's, there's another hole back that way. And then over here, there's a small hole that way, and a bigger hole that way. So just this one hole in the ground, this one trench, it splits out like six different lava caves. That's why this place is so awesome. You can get lost in a good way. Looking out here, you can see there's another trench to the left and an arch there. You can see natural light through it, but it's better than nothing. So I would presume that trench goes to another hole here. I'm gonna go this way first. Walk over to this trench here. So here's another view where you can see so that's basically where my video started. There's the bridge I just walked over. There's a hole or two that way. There's a hole that way. And then there are two holes. A little one there and a bigger one there. If you watch my previous uh, Garden Bridges videos, I think I've been through them all in videos. And um, always from down there. It's nice to come up here and see how close together they really are. So this is the paved trail I said that curves around to the right. Let's go off the paved trail here, so I can show you what else is going on. So you notice there's a mystery hole here. This is a nice big, there's a bridge there, and then a nice big cave down here. But guess what, there's a label right here. So you come over here, this is South Labyrinth Cave, Lava Beds L560. So South Labyrinth Cave. Lava Vets L, oh, did I say 560? Yeah, 560. So, this is the entrance to South Labyrinth Cave, which I think is open 
pretty much year round. I think maybe in the summer it gets closed. Notice there's a ledge down here, and then there's really some cave way down there. Also notice the plants are starting to bud. This is almost mid-March, um, so I think it's still technically winter, but anyway. Spring-like weather. It's not too hot, it gets pretty hot. So here, you can see this is a natural bridge. There's a nice big hole down there. So that would also be part of South Labyrinth Cave. I'm gonna walk over to this trench real quick. Okay. So there's obviously a hole that way going down there. No idea what cave that is, I don't see any label. And then you follow this trench up here. You can see there's a hole left. I can see natural light coming through, so it probably doesn't go very far. So I'm just gonna go to the left side real quick in case there's a sign. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna finish that circle around the garden bridges. How far I've walked now? Well, you saw we're at South Labyrinth, right? So we're not officially garden bridges anymore. But yeah, there's possibly a small hole up there, but the main cave is down here below me. But there isn't even a sign. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the paved trail here real quick. Actually, I'm gonna go across this bridge here. This is where I just was. I said this was um, South Labyrinth. So here's another nice big trench. It goes that away. So if you look over here, there's one hole that way, one hole that way, one hole this way. So there's at least like three caves right here. Although they're probably all officially part of Garden Bridges Cave. Depends on how you count caves. Oh, hello. We got a sign. Guess I could always read. Okay, the sign here says Garden Bridges Labyrinthian Branch. Lava Beds L473. L473. We just got cloudy quickly. There's, it's partly cloudy here. There's a really fast wind going on. So it's partly cloudy. Yeah, and there's obviously holes down there. Oh boy, I'm a little out of breath from hopping around. <sighs> anyway. So there's here. Huh, that's funny. So I'm at the entrance to a cave. It says Garden Bridges Cave B. Lava Beds L470. Lava Beds L470. So, can't really see from here. See, from here you just see solid rock. You can't even tell there's entrances, but there's one there at least. There's one right there. And of course I'm standing on top of one. That's why there's a sign that says there's one underneath me. Come over here. Check this out. This is nice. So there's obviously a hole there, hole there. But check out this natural bridge. This natural bridge is really narrow. It's only like a foot wide. During the winter, I kept my distance, but there's no snow or ice now. I'm gonna actually cross that. I wanna show you how wide it is. It's really cool. So let me go, oops, I stepped on a plant. Those poor plants. 